Mm-hmm. So that's call. Like I said, somebody is fighting for, I mean, is looking for legitimacy. Eh? Somebody we, we know to do okay up there anymore. Okay. And then those around them want to give him something to make it look like something is happening or what have you. Let's not get anything for her. Did they say me that they talk for, for, for dinner table talk? What is dinner table talk? You can tell these people say dinner table talk to this one. So, as of the new world, you can't have a lot of people who are all the old girls. You are all my lady. Get on my language. Show my new lady. Remember, I'm buying it. I'm my was a better. It's how you put out physical bar. If you put one idea, God, you wear a rope where I run the day. Talk about Juba Tulubu himself. So, as of the new world, you can't have a lot of people who are all the old girls. You are all my lady. Get on my language. Show my new lady. Remember. So what did you and say? 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 So yes, Kalu uh, and his uh, and his gang, they can continue to play on your intelligence if you continue to allow them. It's not as if to say you probably could stop them anymore anyway, but they also believe that you can't. Here is the room where they are hosting the business investment in Qatar. And Akuri Nigalailai, as usual, eh, is the MC. Your Excellencies, state governors here present, honorable ministers here present, chairman, board of directors of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce, honorable minister of commerce and industry of the state of Qatar, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. There is no honorable Bama from the state of Qatar, the Qatar the, uh, Clinical Clinical of Commerce, Chamber of Cup. They know they dear. Let me tell you. Inside that all, eh? Like the fake bishop that they uh, they used when they wanted to unveil Hitty Man. Now fake Qatar people they inside that place. All those signing, signing, all those now nonsense. Oh, now Bobo. I don't want you to believe me. Believe if no more. Did they hear them? All the governor here present. All the chairman director here present. All the, the executive here present. Now them, they host themselves inside one hotel for Qatar. And Nigerian media, news media, who follow them, Gotha media, they are there, they are reporting back and saying, Tifnubu is having investment meeting in Qatar. The same Qatar where Egypt went, they don't do all this paparazzi. Now, 35 billion dollars investment they got from Qatar. 35 billion. And what they want to invest their money in, where they want to where, where that money is going in Egypt, they stated it. We are going investing in this power. We are investing in that agriculture. We are investing in this. We are investing in that. Total investment package Egypt get from got from Qatar. 35 billion dollars. It's not hidden. If you go online, you will see all of that a deal. Everyone involved, you go read them online. Go and read it. Egypt got 35 billion uh, investment from Qatar because Egypt is also looking for money. Investors. Call you has been going everywhere that they give you audio, audio investors. They are meeting investors. They are taking pictures. They are meeting this and that. For uploading picture. When I did they open your mouth. Eh? They wait for them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's the state of some of them. You go to see now. There's that one a drug. But that is the everyday mental sum of so many Nigerians. Every day. No be drug now. Woroko. What do you call a Woroko in English? Because now now they they do now now Sabi or some of this English better pass me. I have to be honest. A Woroko. That thing will go catch you when hunger hold you. And they come be like, say, the worm inside you, they are feeding on themselves. Have you ever been so hungry that you go to hear the worm inside you? 
eating themselves. And you're going to say, well, may the, may the strongest worm survive. Have you ever been, okay. Some of you now go to imagine, you can't even imagine it. A lot of now, whether they take a car, carry you go school that time. Eh? A lot of now, maybe, you know, somebody said it's a spasm, right? Is that called spasm? Plenty of word, spasm. I don't know, I don't, sp that spasm sounded uh, easy. That one sounded like something I can undo. Aworoko is stronger. Give me stronger English. CJ. Hmm? Please check where you found that one from. Check again. Something stronger than spasm. Hmm? Something to hold. We could be like, say, oh, my God, the one we could hold you. We could, yeah. they could ask, are you okay? You should not talk. If you talk, that's the end. You know that kind of pet. That one we could be saying, eh, not, not that kind of one. Onga, new. You understand? That is the state of so many of so many Nigerians waiting on these criminals who are going all over the place, jamboreeing all over the place, taking pictures, putting up false hope for you. And then when you ask them, how far? How far now? Even the Siemens uh, deal, we went to Germany to sign. You remember that Siemens? I told you that time. They said he was meeting, he was meeting German Chancellor. They wanted to discuss investment in power in Nigeria. I came here, I said it's a lie. The German Chancellor traveled to Nigeria because Bokwari would not meet with him. 14,000 Nigerians are waiting to be deported from Germany. 14,000. Bokwari said he won't allow the, his own, uh, uh, his government is not going to sign their deportation. There's no place for them in Nigeria. Germany should manage them. He was avoiding this guy. Thief Numbu came. This wearies. They quickly came together and said, Thief Numbu is going to meet with the uh, German Chancellor. That one met with uh, Thief Numbu and said, See, we can, if you give us any charity or any organization or anything, we will donate 250 million euro. If you promise to accept all these 14,000 Nigerians that we want to deport. True story. True story. They are still there in Germany right now. 14,000 Nigerians will be deported. That's how, that is why they met with Tifnubu in Abuja. That was why. When Tifnubu now went to Germany, Tifnubu said, eh, we will continue the conversation. Germans were like, okay, maybe finally they will come now and agree and we can sign this whole thing. Tifnubu got to Germany. They don't tell them in Nigeria that German investors were looking for Tifnubu. Than German investors. German investor key you there. Hey, what kind of affair deport you? We won't, we won't invest uh, where? The only investment we will get for you is charity. If you agree to take all these uh, people back to Nigeria, we will give you 250 million euro. You give you, tell us where you want the money to go. We will donate the money. Or you must take these people. Tiffany we went to Germany. They told him the same thing. We did they sign a visitor's register. They said Tiffany would they sign deal. Siemens deal. Baba Siemens is about electricity, Abi. This was last year. Even if they, they take leg worker from Germany, Princess, Princess Balogun is a German, she's a Germany. Princess, how many days would it take person to walk from Germany to Nigeria? Carrying generator from Germany. Eh? If person they worker, how many days? Can it be up to six months? Even if person they worker. Because the moment you get to Italy, all you have to do is to get a boat, cross Lampedusa. After you cross Lampedusa, eh, you'll find yourself in Morocco, Tunisia, Abi, Egypt, you become to be given to me about direct destiny. And the moment you get to the Sahel, Kotel, you're not supposed to be six months. Tifnumbu don't go Germany, Tete now. People we won't call Siemens, we won't, they told you Siemens contract, Siemens, yeah, 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 yeah. Siemens no bring spanner. Talk less of a better pass my neighbor generator to Nigeria for the past six months because they, 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 they don't get any deal with Tifnumbu. Oh, worry. 14,000 problem, Ray. These are 14,000 Nigerians. They may not all be Nigerians, by the way. 14,000 people where they won't come dump on top of that one where all of them are still the face for Nigeria. Those are the ones that are going to also, when they find themselves in Nigeria, finally. Tifnumbu will collect ransom for them. Una go pay the ransom back because now they go they kidnap. Now they go they face all the, you know, 
Go see up who can learn you where from Nigeria. Man, no lie you. And when these guys continue these lies, it even makes it, it actually makes it even worse. Like Balgoni, when is this going to end? And Nigeria got a media. Oh, uh, sure. Were you not here yesterday, two days ago, when I was uh, updating you about uh, IBD, the guy that beat up a custom official in, a, in Ogun State? We a custom official. They say, ah, Kinimoshe. Hey, Kinimoshe, what did I do? What did I do? He said he's, he's threatening to kill me. Ah! Me really, really, really like me. Me really, really, really. IBD, then they. They say the guy, they don't give him diplomatic passport. See. Me and you, they here, they talk about the contraption to the law. Terrorists. Smugglers. Criminals. Now them, they carry Nigeria diplomatic passport. See. Oh, see, you know everything about that place. See, you know. By the time they are done, eh, Baba, you go carry green passport. They go, they ask you, um, are you a Nigerian? And you go, they deny. You know that kind of thing? Eh? Like you, you give them, you say, this is my passport. I say, okay, um, Mr. Osman Kandugi Uchenna Adewale. Where are you? You are from Kaduna. Okay, Kaduna. Right. So you are a Nigerian. No, 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 I'm not. Oh. I said, no, 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 no. You're, is this your passport? Is this your face? Yes, yes, that is, that is me. Is your name uh, Usman Kandugi? Yes, yes. Male, 35. Say yes. Nigerian. No. By the time Tipnobu is done with all of you. You go did people go call they say ah egbawake. This person is saying nah, they say okay, but now take your passport. Take now open the post page. What does it say? Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay, that means it's a Nigerian passport. Say yes, yes. Now is that your passport? You say yes, it's my it's my passport. Is your passport? So you are a Nigerian? No, I, I don't want to see your guy. The, the only thing go, 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 let me confess. It is not by my choice that I become a Nigerian. I don't want to be a Nigerian. And I am under hostage. It's under duress. I can't, I, I mean, I've been trying to escape from it. Everywhere I go, they call me Nigerian, but I'm not Nigerian. I don't want to be Nigerian. Please. See, but you would have to bring the passport of your country. That's the problem. That's what they will do to a lot of you. You will burn that passport to at some point. It won't change anything per se. Oh, there will be no pity party for anybody. In fact, we have passed that stage of pity party now. You cannot blackmail me. You cannot emotionally blackmail me. You cannot uh, uh, gaslight me. In, in a nutshell, now all of us, they feel the heat. So more would they react the way we feel like. Are you with me? So everybody is feeling it, including you. But by the time they are done, Toba Mapi Sheton will everybody. Ah, Ento Maku Matiku, Ento Maku Lumaku, people will go die, go don't die. Now only those will go remain, go remain, and those will go remain, self Kalomashi, one walking corpse. So, yeah, Oluria, close your eyes for prayer. May you not become a walking corpse. So, a walking corpse is the one that is still breathing. And you are seeing them like people. Everywhere you go, you are millions of Nigerians. You are seeing them on the road. Here you get everywhere you see them. All of them like that. There are so many of them that they are only physically here. But when it comes to having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, you will realize that I will lay the law. They are just here physically. And it is because if you understand what are uh, mental damages that the economic hardship and ruin has done to the, I mean, I've done to these uh, people, people who have nobody to talk to, people who have nobody to, to discuss how they feel, where people have been bottling their frustration, 
their, you know, their, 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 their failure, I mean, sorry, their, their, their hardship, sufferings. To the point that they have zoned off. But all of them are they. And that is why I need small things. Esa, Esa, please, please shift. Kini go, kini kilo day. One of them, they just send you to me. What do you mean by I should shift? Shift where? Esa, ah, sorry, you. I'll just go and sit down behind you. That way, they lay you. I said, what did you do to him? I said, I didn't do anything. I just, when I came into the bus, I said, he should shift. He just lost it. He said he would kill me. Oh, this country, God help us in this country. Oh. Ah. That's everybody, don't they mad everywhere now? Now, that is what they are turning you into slowly and slowly and slowly. You they laugh like before anymore. Let me ask you this person now. You are watching me from Nigeria. Be honest. When was the, when was the last time you actually laughed? Heartily, genuinely. I'm not talking about those laughs that uh, you have to laugh to some jokes that are not funny. Because if you don't laugh, they're not going to serve you. They're not going to among people. We go chop dinner for that house tonight. You know that kind of, uh, you know, life. Eh? Your source of, uh, you know, dinner is talking. You know, laugh. When was the last time you genuinely you felt happy that you actually laughed. See that simple thing where I just ask now. Eh? Look at that simple thing I just asked now. It might sound somehow to a lot of you, but it's so huge. If I can make you sit down and be like, wait. Till. Like when was the last time I was really, really happy in this in this country? I'm not really worried. Like, really, really happy that I can say, man, I was so happy yesterday. Man, if I remember what happened yesterday, I'm still kind of smiling and, you know, you know that kind of a thing. When was the last time you had that? You watching me from Nigeria. Be honest, though. Nobody go beat you. Because if you go for uh, therapy, eh, psychotherapy and all of that, these are the things they will ask you. Like, when was the last time? When was the last time you felt so hungry? So hungry that you, you were like, you're so hungry. Could you remember why? Or could you remember the events that led to that? That got you so angry that somehow, like, even though you managed to control it, or you, were not, you, didn't, you didn't control it. So they will ask you, when was the last time? Then what were the signs, symptoms, that event that led to you to get so, so angry? And they will ask you, when was the last time you felt so happy? Like, Happy, genuinely happy. You know, like not the happiness that you are showing to people, the happiness that you are like, you walk into the room and you just lock yourself in the room and you just feel so like, yes. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time? Now, if you can't remember the last time, ah, ah. You might have been dealing and dealing and, man, you know, managing depression. Your frustration, your worries, the ones you are buried inside, the ones you are, you, are, you are covering with that smile. Everyone sees you, oh, he's, she's never a sad woman. Always smiling. You see that thing you cover with that smile? Ah. And I'll tell you something, though. It's dangerous, and it is because these guys want you there. They are already putting you where they want you. And this is just, uh, you know, a few steps and a few more steps to that state of uh, becoming just existing, walking corpses. People who are just existing. And they have no forbearing, they have no bearing, they have no nothing, anything anymore. They've lost it all. That's what Nigeria is doing to you gradually by making you believe that something is going to happen, something is coming up, nothing is coming up, nothing. It's going to get worse. I mean, worse, worse, worse. And since the, uh, the attitude of uh, better past my neighbor, I better past my neighbor is the motivating uh, uh, factor for some of you. If I can get my own children to eat it twice a day, there are children who are not having any food at all. 
we thank God. We better pass our neighbor. Eh? If we can buy a bag of rice, if I can pay the school fees of my children, I, I mean, I, I will continue to thank God because I better pass some people. Here you get. Now, until that, things are going to get so bad that you will realize that you are not better past your neighbor. Okay? Because the situation will get to the point whereby even your money will not be able to save you. you do you get what I mean? They will destroy things so much. They are already doing it. It's already affecting every one of you. People are already dying. Simply because they cannot have access to uh, adequate medical care, even with your money. You don't need to beg people. All you need is medical care. You will pay, but there is no care. It is going to get worse. And they are going to keep acting up like this, pretending that something is happening when nothing is actually happening. I am going to take calls tonight. Okay, but before that, I want to show you something. Uh, in 2023, we had the prospect of uh, helping to spread this, our message, by also adding the physical part of it, uh, physical to it, okay? What that means is that I am a preacher, I am a teacher. My message are being digested by people who believe that they carry so much uh, uh, what do you call it? so much light, and they want them heard everywhere. So, I am a member of a union called the Yoruba Union. Yes, the Yoruba Union, an organization that we've uh, we've put together to bring together all the Yorubas that are interested, indeed, in the progress and liberation of uh, the Yoruba race from this contraption. So we chose to help build that uh, foundation, trust, as Nigeria is, you know, tearing apart. As a lot of people are unsure, what exactly should we do? Myself and so many other Yorubas, and friends of Yoruba, eh? we pull our resources together to continue to spread the message of listen. What you are witnessing in Nigeria today Eh, is man-made and it can be completely avoided if all of you begin to believe in yourselves. Believe in yourselves. Believe in ourselves enough that we can defend ourselves, defend our people, protect them, prosper them, and indeed be great people that we've always been when our kingdoms were still kingdoms that uh, Colonial thugs were so attracted to that they had to invade us, alter our development, alter our civilization, and then uh, manage for so long to kill and destroy our identity. They haven't really succeeded. A lot of people want to fight. A lot of people want things done as soon as possible. Well, some of us in the Yoruba Union believe Wait, how about we begin to hand the trust of the people that, will, that should know in the first place that they are in a trapped contraption? Now, you can't really save people who don't think they are in bondage. Now, there are people who are saying they are hungry. Uh, Nigeria is this or that. Doesn't mean that they do not love the bondage called Nigeria. So we decided that we would take it upon ourselves to ensure eh, that not only we are educating and enlightening our people, we are also supporting them where needed. With little resources that we have, we have been touching lives. And I'm so proud of all of us on this platform. Because when it comes to pulling our resources together, I have seen so many of us here eh, who have participated in cash and in kind, because you believe that humanity comes first. Mm? And I'm also proud of our own, uh, you know, on the field uh, lieutenants, starting from uh, the Nigeria coordinator, 
which is the Odudua land coordinator for the Yoruba Union, Princess Balogun, Omoba Berin Balogun. Yes. Ahmed, uh, Olan Rewaju, Buhari. The irony. So the last time on this uh, platform, in 2023, a lot of people got so mad, eh, especially Yorubas in diaspora. I know so many of you like that. You were so pissed off. Especially when you saw the role some of uh, some Yorubas played in this tribal ethnic jingoist, I mean, sorry, uh, fanatism against the Igbos. And they did all of that just for a drug dealer. That pushed a lot of you back from ever helping anybody anymore. And I can promise you, we felt that. Well, you know, we've said it many times uh, again and again that. You see this what, I, what we are doing, this that I am doing, it's, it is a thankless job. If you join it because you want to be a star, you won't be. At least, you won't. If you join this because you want to make money, you won't make money. Because there is no money to make. Rather, you will actually have to put your own money in it. So, but we are proud of what we have done. And I'm proud of all of you. We saved lives. We actually gave hope to some I mean, to some people in Yoruba land, where your criminal politicians failed, we offered succor. And we did so, not because we wanted to be praised or thanked, but for the record, eh? We did. And for posterity, posterity's sake, we also did. You remember Mr. Lukmond, the man that uh, we paid for his uh, amputation of his second leg, the man who lost his legs to, I mean, you know, is it called Jandrin or something like that? So, yeah, his life was saved. We adopted his children, put them in private school in Lagos. We took over their welfare, and we have been on it since then. A member of the union decided to be actually paying for his welfare every month. So, what did the union do? Isn't it better to uh, teach somebody how to fish? Than to give them fish. We can see what Nigeria has become or is becoming. And for people like him, it's always going to be extra hard. Mr. Lukman and another lady as well, whose daughter we have also adopted for over a year now. School fees paid and welfare is also taken care of. And the woman in herself, right there in Ota, mm -hmm, we've managed to also reach out and say, listen, Take this and support your business. We are Yoruba Union, and everything we do came straight from our own uh, private pockets and sweats. To everyone, I mean, to every one of you who is a member of the Yoruba Union, eh? This is your moment, and we are grateful. Please watch this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> If you want to see how many my dear, more than one Nigeria, first I know me. 
Olorun ojo <laughs>
that. So yeah, that's part of the work we do uh, through this platform too, okay? Because this is the platform we have. This is where we uh, um, I mean, share our voices and amplify them. This is where we discuss our problems and we discuss those behind them. This is where we uh, touch lives because we do not want to be victims before we will understand what it is to exist in that contraption. We understand a lot by trying to make this our own people. So trust us enough that what we are saying to them is for themselves. It is for their own good. They're not going to get all this. Uh, all of them are not going to get this Okada. They are not all going to get uh, the free scholarship. They are not all going to uh, get uh, this 200,000 Naira each. But a working Yoruba sovereign nation independent Yoruba nation can actually give every child hmm, the right uh, of that citizenship that makes all these things not charity for them, but right. No privilege, but right. Nigeria will continue to treat all of us like we're just lucky to still be alive. You get that? So we can, make, we can make people trust us. And we will do that not because they must, okay? It is because they will trust us. The failure of the rogues in Nigeria will continue to make it easier for us. Yeah, and you are welcome to join us. The Telegram link is right there in this video or in the comment section, right? Click it, open it, join us. Hmm? We will be having our membership, uh, official membership registration and verification in another few weeks. I will tell you when it is ready. Go up there, sign up, meet other Yorubas all over the world. We are building something eh, that we believe will help us bring in together all of the needed the resources, the human resources. Yeah, that is needed to actually liberate not just the mind, the head, and all that of our people. I'm talking about the our entire existence. It is possible. We will do it. Yeah? I promise. So thanks so much, everyone. I am going to uh, take a mini break. Then I will take calls. So if you are still here with me, before you leave, like the video if you have to go. But if you are going to still be here with us, right? Please, pick up your phone and dial in. When I get back, I will be taking calls. Don't go anywhere.